2005 on an 05 Volvo C70 convertible. Uh, we'll start by having a look at the bodywork. If we start on this driver's front wing, you'll see that there is a little bit of a dent just here. You see that picking up on the camera there. The arch itself is sharp. There's no, apart from us doing a terrible job of cleaning it, there's no sign of any rust or anything in there. We do have a little um, chip in the paint that's sort of peeled slightly. It's on the bumper there as well at the same time. It's on the uh, the 17 inch alloy wheels. Got four good tyres, plenty of tread left in those. Coming down the driver's side, you see a couple of little marks on the rub strip there. Um, and the paint has peeled across the top of the rub strip there, which you can see. Little stone chip down the bottom there. Sills all nice and straight and clean. There's no sign of any corrosion coming through there. Wing mirror's got a light scuff on the outside. Little scratch on the A pillar there. On the rest of the top of there, that's all good. There's no sort of major stone chips or anything like that. All the glass on this side is clear. No ingrained dirt or anything on that. A couple of little scratches on the rear quarter there. But the arch, sharp and solid all the way around. No sign of any corrosion coming through there. Another good wheel and tire. Moving round onto the back. You can see the bumper sits nice and straight. Left hand side tail light is nice and clear. This one has a little bit of condensation in there. Might just be able to see that there on the camera. And there's another bit of paint flake in the corner on the bumper there. Top of the deck lid, we've got a little dent. Might just be able to see it just there. And there's a little bit of a reaction in the paint where you've got sort of slight bubbles appearing. Just see that there on the camera. Coming round on the passenger side, nice and tidy down these sort of seams in these areas where they quite often go. Arch, it's all good on this side as well. Another good wheel and tyre. We've got the same paint flake on the top of the rub strip on this side as well. Sill again on this side, clean and tidy. No sign of any corrosion or anything on that. Another little scuff on the corner of the wing mirror. The A pillar on this side again, all nice and tidy, as is this side of the top of the windscreen. And then the front wing, nice and tidy. No sign of any rust coming through on that arch either. The final good wheel and tyre. Bit of a scuff on the corner of the bumper there. Another little one just above the number plate holder. Headlights and indicators are all clear and bright. And there's no sign of any ripples or dents on the bonnet. The convertible top could do with a good pressure wash. It looks like it's been sort of parked outside or under a tree or something. Um, but there isn't any rips or tears or anything in that. No signs of any wear. It does have a heated glass rear screen. But like I say, it does want a good Pressure wash normally it would start to sort of come through on these ribs areas. There's a little bit of wear there, but it hasn't gone through. It is watertight. It's been parked outside in the rain here for a couple of days, no problem at all. It is worth pointing out with the roof. Um, when you hit the button, it'll lift the uh, the back piece all the way up. It'll drop the windows. At that point, this deck lid should lift. It doesn't do that. It doesn't want to lift. Um, so it is actuating that one. It's dropping the windows. It's not lifting this, which then won't trigger the rest of it. Um, so it is worth bearing that in mind. On the interior, decent spec on this one. Got electric windows all around, electric mirrors, uh, front and rear fogs, heated mirrors, heated rear screen, the information system, the larger uh, Volvo sound system, and air conditioning, heated seats, all the usual stuff. It's only showing 58,000 miles on the clock as well, so nice and low on that one. If you check the description, we'll detail what we know about service history and things like that. Bit of wear on the uh, on the on the driver's seat there, and generally a little bit grubby. You could all do with a proper clean, um, but it does look like it would clean up quite nicely. Get that seat forward and have a look in the back. Rear seats, nice and tidy. No real signs of any wear on the back there. Underside of the hood is all good as well. We'll uh, pop the boot and the bonnet while we're here. Go around into the boot. The electric release works all nice and easy. All tidy enough in there. Under there, got a sm uh, space saver spare wheel, jack and things like that. But no sign of any corrosion or anything coming through. There's no funny smells, there's no sign of any moisture in here, which obviously is something you want to bear in mind on a convertible. Passenger side, door card all good. Door shuts on both sides are nice and tidy. Really minimal wear on this side. Really generally nice. There's a little bit of a mark there, but that looks like it'll clean straight off. Under the mats, the carpet set is good. It is all nice and clean. Um, it does just want a good hoover out. A 
Uh, two litre petrol, this one. Manual gearbox. No real signs of any modifications or any rust coming through on the strut tops or anything like that. It's been parked here a little while. It's not dropping any fluid on the floor. We'll get it started up. Was driven to us this one. See where there's a couple of days. Starts on the button. Nice and smooth from the front. Nothing nasty flying out the back. So there we have it. Volvo C70, 2005 on an 05. If you've got any questions at all, please get in touch. Thank you.